Like most gardeners, I save seeds at the end of the season, from the seeds that I harvest myself from my own garden to the leftover seeds that are in packets that I didn't plant completely. And like most gardeners, I'm concerned about whether these seeds will still be good. How long do they last? Will they still be viable? Well, there's more to that question than just how long will they last? A better question might be, how strong will the plant be if the seeds germinate? Join me today as I discuss seed viability and seed vigor. Hi, I'm Gardener Scott, and the concept of seed viability is something that most gardeners are aware of. It's the idea that we can save our seeds and then plant them at a later time, and they'll still be good. Different seeds have different lengths of viability. We test the viability of our seeds typically with a warm germination test, and I've shown this in a previous video. Basically, you take your seeds, place them on a damp paper towel, put that paper towel into a plastic bag, and then put that plastic bag into a warm environment. And then after a period of days, I usually begin checking at about a week, you see how many of those seeds have germinated. And you can get a basic number that your seeds have an 80% germination rate or a 90% germination rate. All of the seeds that we're buying from the stores have done those germination tests because we need to make sure our seed is viable and it will grow when we put it into the garden. But that's just one component of how good the plants will do in our garden from the seeds. Now we can begin talking about seed vigor. And vigor takes into account all of the attributes of the seed that we're going to grow, not just the germination rate. Vigor takes it another step, and even a step beyond that. How well will the seedling grow, and how well will that seedling do when it eventually finds its way into our garden? Seed vigor diminishes in time, and how you store your seeds plays a very big role. Temperature and humidity are extremely important when you're saving your seeds. You should save seeds in a cool, dry, dark location. Well, if the seeds are exposed to heat and higher humidity, they're going to degrade. And that degradation is an effect on the vigor of the seed. The older the seed is, it also begins to lose some of that vigor. It's kind of like old people like me. I may still think that I can do everything I did 20, 30, 50 years ago, but the truth is, I just can't. And seeds age in a similar way. They just can't do as much. They can't produce as strong a product when they're older and they've had some of that degradation than they would have when they were young and fresh. So these shishito pepper seeds that I harvested just this last season, are the youngest seeds I have. And they should have not only great germination rates, but extremely strong vigor. The seedlings will grow strong, the plants will grow strong. But what about these tomatoes that came from the year before to be grown in the 2023 garden? Or how about these leeks from 2019? Or these cucumbers from 2017. Will these cucumbers that are seven years old, if I were to put them in my garden this year, do as well as cucumber seeds that are fresher, that maybe I saved myself? And the answer is probably not. Many experienced gardeners who have been gardening for a number of years have recognized that sometimes the old seed 
just doesn't produce a plant that does as well as the young seed. One of the biggest problems, though, is that there really isn't a good way to test the vigor of the seed at home. We can do the easy germination test, but that germination test is a warm germination test. It's telling us that when the conditions are ideal, that moist paper towel in a warm spot, that that's the germination that we're going to get from those seeds. But what about the real conditions that our seeds are going to be exposed to in the garden, particularly those cool season seeds, the older ones that might be peas and cabbage and lettuce and something like the brassicas that can handle the cooler temperatures and we can put in our garden early. How well will those seeds perform if we put them in a less than optimum growing environment? And that brings us to a cold test. And this is one of the ways that commercial agriculture actually tests the vigor of the seeds that they've had in storage. It's to stress the seeds. It's to do the same kind of germination test. But instead of putting those seeds on a wet paper towel in a warm spot, you would put those seeds into a cold spot, like they might be exposed to in the early days of spring. And this is something that you can do to test the vigor of your seeds. They'll germinate at a good rate when it's warm, but how will they germinate when it's cold? I was given a good example of this just a few days ago at my local garden club meeting. One of my gardener friends, Jane, gave a presentation on winter sowing. Now, I've shown this in an earlier video. You take a gallon jug and you fill it with some potting mix and you put your seeds in and you put it outside in winter, in cold conditions. But there was one part of her presentation that especially resonated with me. She said that she had great germination and she had a very diligent tracking of the hundreds of jugs that she started seeds in outdoors in winter in Colorado. And what she found was that the plants, the harvests, everything associated with the plants that germinated well during the winter sowing was better than the same seeds and the same plants that she grew when they were started indoors. Now, this is just anecdotal evidence. The biggest problem we have is that home gardens have not been studied in this type of area. But when you talk to gardeners that will tell you that the seeds that germinated in the cold, obviously the ones that had a higher vigor rating, ultimately did better in their garden. So not only can we test the germination using cold conditions, but we can also think about germinating our seeds to grow in the garden using winter sowing methods. Those stronger seedlings should grow into stronger plants. It's important to note that seeds will lose their vigor, their ability to perform well in the garden before they lose their ability to germinate. And so doing some of these stress tests or actually going out into our garden and putting some of these old seeds in place early can give us an initial idea as to how well they're going to germinate. But just because they germinate does not mean that they're going to have the vigor to perform well. If they don't germinate at all, well, the answer to the question is obvious. They have no more vigor left in them. They've degraded to the point that they can't even germinate. This is one of those things that I would recommend experimenting with in your garden, particularly when you've got some seeds that are seven years old or even less. Try to do some side-by-side -side comparisons with the old seed and the new seed and see if you do note a difference in how well the plants perform. If everything else in the garden is the same and if you're doing this side by side with old seeds and new seeds, 
I'd be interested to hear what your results are in the garden. If you're doing winter sowing, how does the winter sown plant do when compared with the indoor germinated plant? What I've seen and what Jane has seen is when we stress our seed, what emerges, the plants that survive are going to be the strongest plants. And the strongest plants when they're still real small, just little seedlings, will continue to be the strongest plants when they're much bigger and giving us the harvests that we want so much. Now, the commercial agricultural industry is doing a lot more research in this general area of seed vigor. And I'll put a link to some of the information from Oregon State University so you can find out a little bit more about some of the tests they're doing to determine seed vigor. For now, in our home gardens, it's just a matter of experimentation and trying. And maybe you'll see as well that newer seed does better than older seed most of the time. If you want to see more from those videos that I referenced, click on one of them now. I'm Gardener Scott. Enjoy gardening.